Hey guys, I'm back with another wig review and this time I am reviewing a longtime favorite here on YouTube. And while I think this unit is super gorgeous, she is not my favorite and I'm gonna tell you exactly why. So definitely keep watching the video if you wanna hear my full honest review on this unit. But she's cute though. This is your girl Michelle Miko Dean, all up in your building with another wig review. So today we are going to review the Yara unit by Bobby Boss. And Yara is a premium synthetic lace front wig by Bobby Boss, and I got her in the color TT4. 3427. At the roots, it is a color number four, and you can see it blends into a really pretty auburn, and it's got all different shades of auburn in there. So there's 30, there's highlights of blonde, the number 27, and in the back, it has even more of the blonde mixed in. So this is an absolutely gorgeous unit in terms of the color. I'm really excited about trying her on. There are two combs in the front and one comb in the back and you have your adjustable straps and you can see at the bottom it has that really pretty blonde color. And this is a lace front, so you get lace from ear to ear and you get a nice five inch deep part. Love this deep part. And this is a single part, there's no free parting space on this unit. So I would not say that this unit is big head friendly because I have a small head and you guys I had to undo the adjustable straps to try to make this big enough so I will say this unit is not big head friendly because I have a small head and um, I am struggling to get it to cover my edges and you can see the hairline is not tweezed at all which isn't necessarily a bad thing you kind of expect that with these synthetic units so I went ahead and cut off the lace and again, as you can see, some of my edges are sticking out. I like to put it right at my hairline. And like I always say, I normally like to tack down my units right in the center just to keep them nice and secure throughout the day. And um, we have a little bit of tangling with the unit. And that could just be because um, I cut off the lace and manipulated her a little bit um, to get the lace cut off and get her customized to my hairline. So I changed my shirt, you guys, because my cow neck was making the hair stick up in the back, and I wanted you to get a really good idea of what this unit is looking like. Um, so what are my thoughts on Miss Yara? So this is what she looks like straight out of the pack. I really like how it's stacked and shorter in the back because it's going to reduce uh, the amount of matting and tangling you get in the back of the unit and you don't have to worry about the back of the hair getting caught on your bag and all that good stuff. So my thoughts on Miss Yara. First and foremost, I can say I absolutely love this color. I don't think I've ever seen this color combination on any unit, be it human or synthetic. So Bobby, Bobby Boss did their thing with the coloring on this unit. Really nice ombre effect to the hair and of course I love the dark roots. Um, the hair is a semi yakky texture so it's, it doesn't have a high shine to it but it's not that dull natural texture of a yakky hair so it's somewhere in the middle. The part looks really good on it. You get five inches of parting space. I didn't have to pluck or tweeze the part. All I did was add a little bit of pressed powder um, to widen the part and make it look a little more natural. As far as the cut goes, I really like the cut. I think it's different. It's kind of like an angled bob, so you can see it's shorter in the back and it gets gradually gets longer in the front. And I really like that the edges are not just a straight blunt cut. They are a blunt cut, but it's not straight. You have some jagged edges there. And then I'm gonna see what she looks like with one side tucked behind my ear, because you guys know I love that look. And I would have to tack the sides down if I were to do that. But this actually looks pretty good. Can I get away with that? Can y'all see that? Pretend like y'all don't see that lace sticking up on the side right there. This is just for demonstration purposes. But yeah, this is cute. I like it with one side tucked back behind the ear. You know, this is my signature look here. Even when I have my crochet braids and my shaving sides, I always rocked uh, one side over so I could see my, uh, expose my shaving sides. So you guys, I just moved my camera into my bathroom so I can get my promo shots for the video. And I can tell you this unit is probably going to be a little annoying because just for me picking up my uh, my camera stand and moving it, it's kind of just, just tangling. Just, just, there's just some 
wispies there that are kind of out of place and also the hair uh, was getting in my face and getting caught on my lipstick and just kind of annoying. I see I'm getting lipstick caught, I'm getting hair caught in my lipstick right now. So that can get annoying, just having to move the hair out of your face and from getting caught in your lip gloss. So, and this wig does not come with baby hair, so that's why we don't have no baby hair action going on. See, I know I'm not about to cut nine in, right? So just wanted to let you know, ain't no baby hairs on this one. You're gonna have to cut them yourself if you want them, girl. So since I haven't worn this unit, I just wanted to throw in all the cons I can find uh, while I am filming this video. But she's cute though. So my overall thoughts on this unit is that it's not my favorite. And that's primarily because it's not an everyday wig. I mean, this is definitely a wig only for special events because, you know, just here filming this video, the wis wis wispy hairs keep getting caught in my lip gloss. And so, if you try to wear this to work, you're going to have to keep constantly moving the hair out of your face. You're gonna to have to tuck it behind your ear or pull it back somewhere so you can't wear it straight like this. So for that reason, I'm gonna give her a B because I wouldn't get much use out of this hair. So you guys, that is it. That is my review of Miss Yara by Bobby Boss. Again, she's been around forever and ever and ever, and tons of people have done reviews on her, but this is my first time getting my hands on her. So I hope the review was helpful. Give the girl some thumbs up if you liked the video. Also, make sure you like, share, comment, and subscribe. And I'm gonna leave all of my social media links right there so you can follow me on social media. And until the next video, my queen, stay beautiful, stay blessed, and make sure you get fit and fabulous.